Hello. In this course, we'll take the time to really understand the class methods. You should have done the exercise with the counter. You have done a class method. It worked very well. Now, we'll take a good look so you understand for once and all. You'll learn in this course that there's no difference in Faro between class and instance methods on a search algorithm level. There's only one search algorithm alluded to and used. That's defined in the virtual machine. And you'll see that while we could have said that the class methods at first glance are like static Java methods, they're not. In fact, they are dynamically linked. There's a search and execution, while in Java, typically, static methods aren't dynamically sought. Let's see how it works. In fact, what you've seen is that there's only one lookup, which starts in the receivers class. If the method is defined in the class, it's returned, otherwise it continues in the superclass. What this means, graphically, is that I have my example of the counter class. When I send the increment message, what will happen? Step 1. I look in the counter class, and I'll go back up. If I have increment, it's defined here. If it's a method defined higher up in the hierarchy, it will be sought higher up. In fact, this mechanism is used in Faro. There's only one. It's used for both instances and classes. When you did the exercise with the class counter and sent the message with value to the class counter to create an instance, what happened? The class counter is instance of a class called counter class. And we looked. We used the same method as before. We looked in the receiver class. The receiver was counter. So we looked in the class counter class and found the method with value, which we applied to the receiver, and it gave us a new instance. So we used exactly the same process as for the messages we sent to an instance of the counter class. So what is a class in Faro? A class is an instance. It's an object like any object. In Faro, there are only objects. A class is an instance of another class, called a meta-class. It's just to distinguish them. A meta-class is just a class whose instances are classes, to differentiate between terminal instances and classes. The next thing is that the counter-class, in this line, the counter-class is the only instance of the class counter-class. This counter class is created automatically, without you knowing it. When you defined the counter class, the system automatically created the class counter class, and it created the counter class. You thought you were creating one class, but in fact, you were creating two. What you have to know in Faro is that all the classes in a class called XXX are called XXX class. So if I have counter, the counter class will be counter-class, systematically. So, in fact, what you do in reality, we're just showing you how it works. We needn't have explained it, but it means that when the browser shows you the counter-class, it shows you the code that will be executed on the instances of this class. That means increment is the code that will be executed on this instance here. When you click on the class button to define a class method, it shows you the code that will be executed on this object here. And in fact, if we look, when I send the message increment to the counter instance, I'll look in the counter class. Look, that's the method executed. When I send the message with value to the counter class, where will I look? In its class. I follow this link, and it's this method here. So what should you know? A class is an object in Faro. A class can receive messages. I told you when we did the syntax. I told you date today. What's that? It's a message that we sent to a class. There are no elements syntaxed differently. It's the same as sending a message syntactically to an instance. What's more, this course shows you there's only one method lookup. The class methods are looked up dynamically, like the instance methods. Where are they looked up? In the class of the receiver. When it's an instance, it's looked up in the class. 
When it's an instance class like the counter class, it's looked up in the meta class, in the class called counter class. So, a class is an instance of another class, called a meta class, and only one lookup works. So we'll return to this notion in the final session, in the lecture Understanding Meta Classes. And we're going to revisit, we're going to lift the lid on Faro and show you how it works, and it's completely uniform.